Welcome back everyone. In today's video, I'm going to build a portable outfeed table for my job site table saw. I use a contractor job site table saw because of the convenience of being able to fold it up and put it away when I'm not using it. Given that I work out of a one car garage, I don't have a spot to permanently set up my table saw. Most of the year I'm lucky because I can open the garage door and get an extra 10 to 12 feet of space to work with and I can have my table saw at the front of the garage where it doesn't interfere with the rest of the floor space. Sometimes when I wanted an outfeed table I would set up a couple of saw horses and put a piece of plywood on top. It's not the best because sometimes if you're dealing with heavier boards it'll just push your saw horses over. Now the other challenge with my garage is that the floor is sloped. As with most garage floors, there is a pitch going towards the front. I suppose I could build a table with fold down legs that are adjustable and that might work, but I think what I'm going to try in this video is build a solution that mounts right onto the front of my table saw without legs. This is gonna be a fairly big build, so let's get on with it. Thank you. 
that's pretty smooth. So let me take you on a tour of this wonderful extension to my table saw. It has no legs, so I don't have to worry about uneven ground or uneven footing. It easily comes apart. Well, that concludes building an outfeed table for your job site table saw. Now, not all brands of job site table saws will be exactly the same. You might have to play around with how the framing goes on to it. The arms were part of a pallet skid that already had channels in them, so I just utilized those channels. You can always use a 2x4 and take your router and cut your own channels into them pretty easily. And in fact, if you want to do it safely, you can use my jig board solution. There's a link to it in the description below. Usually I've been able to manage without an outfeed table for boards that are around three and a half feet or less, but anything bigger than that has been a bit of a challenge. It'll be a lot more satisfying to build things using this outfeed solution. And I'm very happy with the way that it stores away nice and easy in the back of my workshop. If you want to buy me a beer, head on over to my Patreon page right over here. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe if you haven't done so already. There are a couple more videos on this side you can watch. Until next time, thanks for watching and have a great day.